Hey, hello, thank you very much indeed for your time. Now, this commitment by health ministers to keep borders in Europe open, is it wise? I think it has a, a positive impact on to the control of infection if the control uh, of the movement could be monitored. The reason being is that if we really look on to how the virus has spread, I mean, from Italy um, now or uh, from China, most of those cases has been through travelers. So any restriction on to the travel would have certainly um, effect on slowing down the further spread of infection. However, at the same time, uh, this could increase the panic and people might hide the information of the travel and so on. That could have a negative impact. But in general, this would be uh, appreciated if there were able to be some sort of restriction onto the travel. Speaking of, of hiding, in Iran, so Iran has the uh, second uh, highest death toll from coronavirus outside of, uh, so after China, um, and it's feared that the number of cases there is actually higher than what officials are saying. So from what we know, there have been 19 deaths and 139 infections. If there isn't total transparency, what's the risk? How concerning is this? That is one of the major reasons that uh, the disease is emerging in the countries where it hasn't been before, is that the virus has been breeding under the radar because of either lack of awareness or lack of transparency. Those cases were not identified in the beginning, those remain a super spreader. For example, if we take a look at the initial cases of Iran, those didn't have any direct um, uh, flight history or the travel history to China, indicating that they got that infection from someone else who has been infected. That is an indication the overall number of cases is underreported and there are a lot more uh, positive cases around in the country. And what do you make of the way the World Health Organization is handling this? They're sending a team to Iran soon. Of course, uh, they didn't declare an emergency straight away. China was criticized for being slow to respond. But what about uh, this international uh, body? Has it been handling the situation well? Uh, well, this time, uh, overall situation has been handled very well compared to uh, previous occasions, such as uh, SARS back in 2003. Uh, however, there are still things that could have been improved. For instance, if we look where from this whole scenario started, it was from the Hubei province. So the control measures of the quarantine that were put in place were really late, so three or uh, three and a half weeks after the start of the outbreak. And that, that was the time, actually. That was the window when most of the people had been traveling without any restrictions. Wherever they traveled, they took the virus with them. So any delay in taking uh, mitigation or containment measures, that would have a negative impact on to the further spread uh, of this virus. And that is where the major worry at this moment is. And where are we at when it comes to uh, getting um, medication or, or a vaccine? And, and, and what about this debate over the usefulness of wearing masks? Where do you stand on that? Uh, absolutely. At this moment, uh, most of the efforts has been on to the containment, meaning that identifying positive cases and uh, trying to isolate them and sort of intervening with the transmission potential. The next uh, uh, strategy has to be the vaccine for a long term perspective. The vaccines are being prepared. Uh, they are under different phases of trial, including uh, the vaccine being prepared by my group. So uh, that is uh, a long process, but the, the things are moving in the right direction. But at the same time, there are different antiviral drugs that are being tested. For example, anti-malarial drug um, uh, chloroquine has been used or flavivore has been used and a smaller number of patients so that are proving positive uh, toward, uh, toward the treatment of this infection. So things are moving, but this is something very contagious, came in a very short time within the history of uh, two months. It has spread all continents, over 31 countries already reporting positive. So the virus speed has been a lot uh, uh, faster than other inventions. Thank you very much, Mohamed Munir, for joining us there.